All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of a trapezoid. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with this trapezoid. Let's say we've got this one here. It's got a, it, the neat thing about a trapezoid is it's got two bases, is the way we mathematicians think of it. This bottom one, we're going to say is base two, and we're going to say it's got a, a length of six, and this base up here, we're going to call it base one, and it's got a base of, I mean, it's got a, a length of two. And then the height of this trapezoid is 3. Now, if we want to find the area of this trapezoid, now the answer says it's 12, 12 units squared already. Well, let's see if we can figure out why the answer is 12. So we're going to take that trapezoid, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to double it, and we're going to flip it over. So we have twice the area of the original trapezoid, and you'll notice it creates a parallelogram. So this is a parallelogram, and we know the area, how to find the area of a parallelogram. It's base times height. And in this case, for the parallelogram, the base is 6 plus 2, so the base of this parallelogram is 8. So we added 6 plus 2. And the height of this parallelogram is 3. And then, once we've done that, so we've got 6 plus 2, that's 8, and then 8 times 3 is 24. But we don't want the area of a parallelogram, which is 24. We really want the area of this trapezoid, which is half of that. There's our 12 units. So what did we do? Well, we look down here. The area of a trapezoid, we start by finding the area of a parallelogram, and then divide it by 2. And how do we find the area of the parallelogram? Well, in this case, we took the 6 and we added the 2. So we took the base 2 and we added base 1. And that's the base of the parallelogram. Then we multiplied by the height, and that gives us the area of the entire parallelogram. Base 1 plus base, one plus base 2 times the height. But then we have to divide by 2 because we don't really want the area of the parallelogram. We want the area of just the trapezoid. And so we divide by 2. So we get 6 plus 2 times 3 divided by 2 gives us 12. And that's the formula for the area of a trapezoid. Base 1 plus base 2 multiplied by the height divide by 2. All right. In our second and final example, we've got this new trapezoid right here. It's got a base 1 of 5, and it's got a base 2 of 11, and it has a height of 4. And we're going to find the area of this trapezoid. So I want you to think about that trapezoid as being half of a parallelogram. All right, and now this parallelogram is going to have a base of 16 because we added 11 plus 5, or 11 plus 5. So 11 plus 5 is 16, and it has a height of 4. So 16 times 4 is 64, but we don't really want 64, an area of 64. We really want half of that, so our area is 32 units squared for the trapezoid. And if you want to see the way that looks, well, we're going to find the area of a parallelogram which is going to be base 1 plus base 2. So you got base 2 plus the flipped over base 1. So base 1 plus base 2 gives us the base of the parallelogram. So, and then we're going to multiply by the height. So that's going to be 11 plus 5 is going to give us the base of that parallelogram. And then we're going to multiply by 4 because that's the height of the parallelogram. And we're going to take that answer and divide by 2 because really we want just the trapezoid. So the formula ends up being 5 plus 11 times by 4, divide by 2, and that gives us the area of 32 units squared. So inside this trapezoid is 32 little square units.